mate, mate, how are you? It's been ages since we've seen each other. I know. Back in the office together, mate. The dream team. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, the, the, the two the old talk about. That's it. Uh, we make the Anfield. The Dagnishan Rush. Yeah. The, the Keegan and... Toshach. Toshach. Struggling here, aren't I? Okay, it's me and him. Hanson and Lawrence. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're back. And... Um, Liverpool still doing stuff and all that. Um, be keep an eye on 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 what's going on today. Uh, things around. And there's a story from Christine Walsh who, who comes on a little bit with us. He's done something for uh, the Liverpool Echo today where he where he works. The people who pay him, um, and he's he's worked it all out because he because he's good at stuff like this, Christian. And he's worked out that no club will have more players at the uh, Euros than Liverpool. And his point on it is like you know people say like oh it's not a great squad or whatever but. You know, it just shows that there is quality there. There might not be huge star quality, but if you think the two of our best players are Brazilian, and then you think Sacco would have been there if you know he wasn't on the um, whatever he's on. Yeah. And so you know, it's it's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. There's it? there's internationals there. Um, there's something to work with. I mean, it's worth remembering as well. I think I think we'd all like to, fans were always going to say they want better, aren't they? By the yeah. nature of you know, that you want your team to win everything. But I think Klopp, uh, when he came in as well, it, it sort of, it's got out there somehow that, you know, his, in, his interview with, with FSG and stuff, he sort of said, well, there's quite a lot that I feel I can work with there. You know, I don't, he wasn't he wasn't talking about being handed, you know, open checkbooks yeah, and yeah. needing to rip up the transfer market. He was saying, you know, there's some talent there. And, you know, I think we've seen that. No matter how you assess the season and people are doing it in different ways because that's the way it works and that's what's interesting be boring if we all had the same thoughts wouldn't it that father who keeps you know tweeting the saying that we should say certain things about certain players um but yeah i mean and that's why it is interesting people see it in different ways Klopp's come in he's got more out of emily chan he's got more mm. out of bobby Firmino. you know he's got more out of certain players so that's the way it works and he has yeah. got something to work with um but i think we'd all say we want to see more quality around the edges and yeah. you know and all the rest of it but, but it's i mean we played the um the transfer committee game we did it was the third one yesterday the first two were already out if, if you don't listen to, to the podcast it's, it's something we do where um, Neil and, and a couple of people help him out um, a couple of people outside uh, John Furlong and, uh, and Russian uh, from work help him out with the bit and we basically put values on the players we've got values we've played on the on the on players we've been linked with and, and you'd have a bit of a game as you pretend to be the transfer committee and do kind of ins and outs and, and normally um, get rid of loads, get loads in because it's more fun and you just want to do it. But we only actually bought four players in the yeah. end. And when we once we'd done it, once we'd added, you know, a few stars, you you suddenly looking at the squad and we were looking at the bench going, That's that's, that's all right. It's incredible that and those yeah. players you couldn't even get good players you couldn't even get on it. And so I think at the moment where the squad is, if you if you could add two or three belters, I think we'd all be Changing our tune quite quickly. Yeah, I, well, I played I I played the game on a different show to you as well, and and, and it was similar with us. We, we we sort of cut a lot of the lads around the edge of the squad, which I think will probably happen anyway. I mean, I think Klopp got rid of about fifteen in his first season at Dortmund, but that's often quoted. But I mean, I think a lot of them are people who are nowhere near the yeah, side, yeah. and I think the same can happen at Liverpool. I mean, what was interesting I thought about the transfer committee game, and maybe something that isn't considered as much. Is just what you're doing with wages as well. Yeah. You know, all these lads that people just go, oh, you know, Colo, just keep Colo there. You know, he's good to have around the place, people say, and things like that. Yeah, he's on grants. Yeah. He's on a lot of money every week. And like, so, you know, you take that off the wage bill and then you, you're free enough money that can go on someone else, someone who perhaps can be in the side more regularly, help you win games and all the rest of it. So it's that constant balance between it all, isn't it? Which is quite interesting. Yeah. Um, Colo's uh, in the news today as well. Yeah, he might be going to China. Do you reckon? Um, what are them? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm like that <laughs> about all these China links. I think it's the go-to story that you write now if you've got nothing to write about. So you know, you go, you look at like so. Colo out of contract. Um, no one's really sure what's going to happen. You go to China, and then write down some club in China. And the ones who's going to check it out, who's going to fact check this story for you, you can just put that in the press and people will go, ring makes up, sense. Ring up Nanjing United and go, are you really interested in yeah. Colo? Yeah, I mean, you can't get on their press office, can you? I mean, what, <laughs> what's interesting is I used to work in national newspapers and like, I'm not going to mention the paper or the agency in question, but we used to get sent quite a lot of copy from a certain agency and it was all these stories that seemed quite incredulous that had happened in China and all the rest of it. And I used to be subbing them going, they don't add up these to me and I go to the news editor and say 
I just don't think this has happened. It looks like black to me. And he'd pretty much say, well, the agency say it's happened. Uh, you know, they've got pictures. Again, how do you check it? Uh, you've got to sort of trust this agency. And I was like, I wouldn't put it in. If, but, you know, if you want me to put it in, Sam, it'd go in, it'd go, in, it'd go on the website, whatever. But uh, about six months after they'd left, there was like a big expose on this agency and they were just making it up. They were just filming bits of video, taking pictures, making up a story, pinpoint some place that, you know, in the middle of nowhere in China and everyone will go, ah, seems feasible, yeah, <laughs> sound. And so it just shows you that, you know, it, especially this time of year, it's not called silly season for nothing. Pinch of salt about loads of the stuff that's going around at the moment. Well, on that subject, we're recording another gutter show today. <laughs> where we, where all that kind of things are discussed. It's still so fun. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll be we'll be doing a roundup of all the all the people who are linked to Liverpool and linked away. They might they might have a bit of a chat about the cola thing as well. Um, Rob's recording that today. It's actually going out tonight as well, along with uh, the City Talk show, uh, just the free show we do on the radio. That be going out for for nothing tonight as well. Um, a few things they might be discussing in the gutter. We've been linked with uh, a nineteen year old midfielder from Anderlecht uh, called Samuel Bastian 4.6 million um, last year he was on loan in Serie B there's talk we might loan him straight out uh, it's a tough one to get excited about then yeah I mean well, we just talked about this a second ago didn't we you want, the, you want, you want quality don't yeah. you? you want somebody who can come in and yeah. just influence the first 11 and if you're just getting someone in who's going to go straight out again yeah, then yeah as a fan tough to get excited about I mean we've got Grugic he's just he was loading straight back, wasn't he? But you know, now he's gonna he's here. Yeah. He snapchatted last night. Did you see them trainees? No. He needs he needs to get himself down to the decent trap shops in Liverpool and Liverpool. Uh, <laughs> go to size on both streets. Yeah, go go to size, get yourself some Adidas, mate, because whatever they they wear on your feet. Nah. Yeah. There's options, weaver's doors there as well, plenty of options, mate. Um yeah, another one going out on loan, maybe Joe Gomez, bit of talk him going to Celtic. I can't see that. I think he's gonna get games. I do as well. I'm like I can I can understand the Celtic link though because obviously yeah. Brendan Rodgers work with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. and I think he's a talented lad. Him, I liked what I saw when he and it was a real shame that he got injured. He was he was another one where you know the way people talk <coughs> about Ings. Who good, there's a good interview with Ings by the way uh, today. Melissa Reddy's written written it. Um, and he comes across really well again yet again about his attitude and he says about he's been watching Liverpool while he's been injured <coughs> and watching in detail what Klopp wants from his players. But like him, I think Gomez is another one where you think feels like Klopp or like him yeah, yeah. you know what I mean it feels yeah. like he's a good fit so yeah I'd be surprised well, Klopp's been buzzing off how big Joe Gomez he is yeah, one of the first well, things he, he I saw him I saw it you know like you see them you see, you see them on the telly or you see them at the match and, and, and it's a bit different to when you sort of you know this far away from them or whatever and uh, I, I've said, mentioned this before but I blagged into the TV hotel after, uh, after the final in Basel and Joe Gomez was one of the ones I saw he's huge mate what one would be playing footy against him you're not getting a sniff there. Yeah. But he's good with the ball at his feet as yeah. well, isn't he? You know, Very so good yeah. footballer. The only thing in this Celtic thing might be because he's been out so long is is it good to get him a win a game somewhere? But, you know, maybe that's what the other 20 ones are for. We'll see. Um, just a couple of quick ones as well that I'm sure they'll be discussing later in the go to show as I say. Yeah. Pepe's dad's been on and he's staying in Napoli. I, I love the dad ones now. Yeah, the dad ones, great, it's, isn't it? Yeah, it's boss. <laughs> My dad. Who I'm, not, I'm, not believe, I'm not believing the story till I read it from an hour, fella. What my dad, he watches these and, and like never comments on any what we're talking about, just comments on mad things. He's pointed out that uh, the handles on these <laughs> chairs have been put on a different way. Yeah. I've been doing these videos for God knows how long now, and I never noticed that. So nice one, dad. <laughs> e- eagle eyed. Uh, all right, there's loads of stuff on go to as well, but I almost can't be bothered with it anymore. No, so we'll, uh, boring, we'll, we'll, leave, we'll leave that for the lads. Get on the site, by the way, uh, if you haven't already. We're doing this feature at the moment, You're the Boss, uh, where we all sort of pretend we're taking charge of a club, not Liverpool, and we just write about what we do with it. Um, we're getting some good feedback on it. Just a bit of a laugh, one of those summer things. So, you know, have a read, tell us what you think, uh, get involved. Comments below, both on Facebook, YouTube, you know, you know the score by now. Sound? Yeah, that'll do, won't it? Cheers.